YouTube spam comments are getting more and more annoying and also more clever. So I decided to create the best YouTube spam comment filter Chrome extension using AI and machine learning. There were comment filter extensions already out there, but they rely on the user to enter words or patterns to filter out the comments. Also, they don't use AI or machine learning, so they're automatically just not cool. But seriously, with machine learning, the detection of spam can be done automatically and with high accuracy. So I'll show you how I created the best YouTube comment spam filter in five easy steps. Step one, designing the system. A Chrome extension is written in JavaScript. Unfortunately, JavaScript is not the best language for machine learning or AI. I was unable to find great libraries for doing the machine learning algorithm that I wanted. So the idea was to have the Chrome extension be built in JavaScript and have it call an API, which would simply return if a comment was ham or spam. Yes, ham means not spam. Since Python is the best language for AI and machine learning, I would use Flask for the API and scikit-learn for the machine learning algorithm. One obvious flaw in the design is that if many users are using the Chrome extension at the same time, it would hit the API very frequently, and that could be problematic. That could be optimized later. Step two, getting and cleaning the data for the algorithm. For this, I had a video in mind with tons of spam. I went to youtuberandomcomment.com, entered the video URL, and downloaded all the comments into a JSON file. Then I built this script, loads all the comments, then creates a new file called spam ham data set. The headers are text and label. Then for each comment in the comments JSON, if any of these phrases are present, then it would label it as spam. Pretty simple algorithm, but I found it to work pretty well. The output is a nicely formatted CSV file. It didn't get every possible comment that's spam, but for the sake of a prototype, it was good enough. For better results, obviously, the next step would be get more data from many different videos. Step three, building the machine learning classifier. Now that I had some training data, I could train the classifier. First, read the spam ham data set, then split the data into training and testing sets, do feature extraction. We need to convert the text into a numeric form, and that's what this is doing. Then train the classifier. And for this, I use the multinomial naive Bayes algorithm, simply evaluate the model. Then I took some comments from the original video, modified some things in it, and made sure that the classifier marked them as spam, and then saved the vectorizer and classifier to files. Step four was creating the API. Easiest way to create a lightweight API with Python is to use Flask. I created the Flask app, added cores, then load the vectorizer and classifier, define the route here. So the route is called check spam. It gets the comment, predicts probability that it's spam. If the probability is greater than or equal to 98%, it marks it as spam, and then it returns the result. Step five, creating the Chrome extension. Two main changes were needed. A manifest.json file, the name of the extension, the description, content script, this content JS file runs anytime the URL matches this string. And the content.js file is what's going to actually remove comments. This function takes an element from the page and removes it. Yes, I know it's very ugly. Is comment spam? Just calls the API and checks if the comment is spam. Remove spam comments. Goes through all of the comments on the page. And if a comment is spam, it removes that comment. And finally, there's this set timeout, which after five seconds removes the initial spam comments from the page and sets a mutation observer if new comments are loaded onto the page and remove spam comments so now the API is running and it's listening and we actually make sure to load our Chrome extension and now we can refresh this YouTube video and we should see that there are no spam comments. Some spam comments got removed. And as we keep scrolling, we see that all of the comments are legit and we can actually look at the API every time I scroll down it's actually hitting the API with all the comments and checking if the comments are spam or not.